Initiating an explanation in three, two, one. In this simulation, you will learn the history of mechs in literature, movies, and games, as well as real-world examples. Let's begin with terminology. The term mech, or mecha, refers to scientific ideas and genres that center on giant robots and or machines controlled by people. Mechs are typically depicted as humanoid walking vehicles. The term was first used in Japanese after shortening the English word mechanism or mechanical, but the meaning in Japanese is more similar to giant robot. These machines vary greatly in size and shape, but are distinguished from other vehicles by their humanoid or biomorphic appearance. There are many examples in fiction of these types of machines. In literature, one of the first appearances was the tripod fighting machine of H. G. Wells' famous 1897 The War of the Worlds novel. Gone Bat, a Japanese story, debuted in 1931 and featured the first fictional piloted humanoid giant robot, Daimingen Tanku. In Japan, robot anime, also known as mecha anime, is one of the oldest genres in anime. It is often tied in with toy manufacturers. Large franchises such as Gundam, Macross, Transformers, and Zoids have hundreds of different model kits. The size of mecha can vary according to the story and concepts involved. Some of them may not be considerably taller than a tank, some may be a few stories tall, others can be as tall as a skyscraper, some are big enough to contain an entire city, some the size of a planet, galaxies, or even as large as universes. The first giant robots seen were in the 1948 manga Atomic Power Android and Mitsuteru Yokoyama's 1956 manga Tetsujin 28 Go. However, it wasn't until the advent of Go no Gai's Mazing Z that the genre was established. The super robot genre features superhero-like giant robots that are often one of a kind and the product of an ancient civilization, aliens, or a mad genius. The later real robot genre features robots that do not have mythical superpowers, but rather use largely conventional, albeit futuristic weapons and power sources, and are often mass-produced on a large scale for use in wars. 1979's Mobile Suit Gundam is largely considered the first series to introduce the real robot concept and, along with 1982's The Super Dimension. Fortress Macross would form the basis of what people would later call real robot anime. Not all mecha need to be completely mechanical. Some have biological components with which to interface with their pilots, and some are partially biological themselves, such as in Neon Genesis Evangelion, Eureka 7, and Zoids. Attack on Titan creator Hajime Asayama draws particular inspiration from the mecha visual novel Move Love with its use of pilots controlling larger humanoid apparatus. There are plenty of other examples in writing, such as Iron Man from the 1968 comic. When it comes to film, there are hundreds of examples as well, such as Imperial ATAT Walkers in The Empire Strikes Back, Mecha Godzilla. Ripley's work loader in Aliens. The Power Rangers combining to form Mighty Morphin Megazord. Defense APUs The Matrix Revolutions. Steel Behemoths in Avatar. Jaegers in Pacific Rim. And many more. Because of their size and fictional power, mecha are quite popular subjects for games, both tabletop and electronic. They have been featured in video games since the 1980s, particularly in vehicular combat and shooter games, including Sesame Japan's side-scrolling shooter game Vasta in 1983, various Gundam games, and the run-and-gun shooter hover attack in 1984. The Metal Gear series by Hideo Kojima includes Mecha as part of its main premise. The series takes place during the modern day and near future, and the prototype nuclear-capable bipedal tanks called Metal Gears are a recurring element. A popular classic of mecha in games is the Mech Warrior series of video games, which takes place in the Battletech universe. Armored Core is a fast-paced action mecha series, set in the distant post-apocalyptic future, where mechas piloted by mercenaries are the dominant forces on the battlefield. In StarCraft series, two of the fictional races extensively use walkers. 
In Zone of the Enders by Hideo Kojima, real robots called Levs exist alongside a more super robot-like mecha type known as the Orbital Frame. In Battlefield 2142, mecha fight alongside conventional military units. In Titanfall 1 and 2, mechas called Titans are heavily involved within the gameplay and story. Overwatch, a hero shooter from Blizzard Entertainment, includes D.VA, a tank hero who pilots a mecha. There are also examples of mechs in tabletop games, such as Warhammer 40,000, where the forces use mechs of a variety of sizes and shapes. In real life, there are a few prototypes of mecha-like vehicles. Currently almost all of these are highly specialized or just for concept purpose, and as such may not see mass production. In 2012, Sudobashi Heavy Industry unveiled their prototype of a drivable mecha, the Karotas. On December 2016, Korean company Hankook Mirai posted a video featuring a test run of their bipedal prototype Mecha Method 01. In 2018, Japanese engineer Mosuaki Nagumo from Sakakibura Kikai completed construction of a functional bipedal mecha inspired by the Gundam franchise. The device, standing 8.5 meters tall and weighing about 7 tons, possesses fully functional arm and leg servos. In the Western world, there are examples as well. In 2006, Timberjack, a subsidiary of John Deere, built a practical hexapod walking harvester. In 2015, Megabots Incorporated completed the MKII in glory before challenging Karotas to a duel. As you have seen in this simulation, there are a variety of mechs in the fictional and real world. Thank you for your time. Ending mechs in 3, 2, 1.